play with robots, but today we're introducing you to a group of elementary school students who are taking playing with those robots to a whole nother level. And these kids are special. Mm -hmm. They've taken their skills to an international stage and ranked very high. CBS 46's Vince Sims joins us live at Georgia Tech with what really is an amazing story, Vince. These fifth graders came in second place out of 400 plus teams. That is right, 400 teams in their division, and they did this. Now, these young students, these fifth graders, are already eyeing with their skills prestigious tech schools like Georgia Tech. All right, the amazing feat that they did, the robotics team from Daves Creek Elementary School in Forsyth County, well, they came in second place, and they were the only U.S. team to place in the finals. Three, two, one, go. These are some of the members of the Daves Creek Elementary School Robotics Club. Well, this whole game setup is called the Game of Ringmaster. They also participated in the VEX IQ World's Robotics Competition in Kentucky. So Ashley's trying to pick up as fast as he can. This robot they designed, built, and programmed was put to the test against 400 other teams in the international competition. So that's five extra points right there. Yes, the kids are creating a robot, but it's a lot more than that. Their teacher and coach, Colleen Woodman, explains why robotics is so important. What we're doing is we're developing 21st century learners. Yeah, I want to start a higher level of X and continue my passion for robotics. It just helps me to become better at the skills that I need for my life when I grow up. This is a rookie robotics team. They've never competed like this. We went there just to have fun and just to um, see the experience, but no one ever imagined um, winning the division and making to the world finals and even placing second there. This video shows them working along with a team from China in that final challenge. It wasn't easy to make it to this point. There were communication barriers. We had a little harder time than we had with the U.S. teams communicating but we, were, we managed to get through because we all speak the language of robotics. And of course, mechanical difficulties. Almost everything we tried, it went wrong. But through it all, they kept calm. We just were just happy that we're there. We were just enjoying ourselves and just having a good time. And brought in a second place win for Forsyth County and the U.S. I screamed in, yeah, in shock and I almost fainted. It's the equivalent of winning the Super Bowl. That's how we felt. All right, so the actual winning team was from China. Now, as far as those students go, they still want to keep up with robotics, but they have other aspirations as well that include doctors, engineers, and one is even considering acting. Sharon? I bet those kids can succeed at anything. Hey, Vince, as you mentioned, this is their first time competing. What about next year? Will they try to do it again? All right, the requirements and the specs have already been sent out for next year's competition. And so the students that will be fifth graders next year and compete, well, they know now the type of robot they're going to have to build. I got a glimpse of that. It's going to have to be a robot that can pick up these, like, thread spools looking type of things and stack them up. It should be quite interesting. Sharon? My money's on those kids. Very cool story. Thank you, Vince. Now we want to tell you about this. A power plant is being threatened.